if people knew that there is a lot of indirect effects that can be attributed to the Russian Ukraine uh, war, people would be a bit objective in terms of how they evaluate this um, and not thinking that this is a crisis that is far away, that I don't need to care about it, or we don't have to talk to our leaders to think of the positions that the country is taking. Over the last two years, we have actually faced a food security crisis. Kenya is a net importer of food. If you were to close our borders, we would not be able to feed ourselves. So for us to be food sufficient, we have to import the deficit. If you combine both Russia and Ukraine, we were importing more than one third of the total wheat that we're importing in Kenya. Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022, and Kenya had a drought in 2022. So the need for grain was quite significant and Russia uh, invading Ukraine now messed up the supply chain. The world is interconnected. Russia and Ukraine play a very big role in the commodity market, for instance, for, for on, on fertilizer, on food, the grain particularly. So whenever there's a problem or there's a challenge, then definitely the people on the ground, far to the east, to the west, feel it. When the war broke out, there was a significant decline of the shipments that were coming from Ukraine and Russia. We didn't have a good harvest then, so we had to import from outside the region. Ordinarily, we would go to Ukraine, and the challenge, of course, has been that many of the sea service providers would not want to take their ships in an area that they are likely to be bombed. What we had to do was to look for different sources of markets. In maize prices, were almost doubling, and um, the way we look at it is not just on the on the on the like the import side, but also on the production side. We started seeing a, a global shock in fertilizer prices. Fertilizer plays a major role in uh, increasing the productivity of a given crop or farm at that time. After the war broke out in Ukraine, fertilizer from Russia was affected. Fertilizer prices more than doubled. What do the farmer do? they reduce the fertilizer use. The production goes down. When the production goes down, the price goes up. One of the ways Kenyan can support Ukraine is we can agree on strategic interventions. There was an initiative that was proposed by Ukraine to establish a grain hub in the port of Mombasa. People would get labor from the hub and they would get income and their purchasing power would increase. If Kenya were to take an active role in the end of the conflict in Russia or Ukraine from a public relations point of view, I think people will view Kenya more, people will be more aware of Kenya, people will probably trade more with Kenya, people will want to come and visit Kenya and do business with Kenyans. If we can attain a just and lasting peace for Ukraine, Ideally, then you'd expect that Ukraine would return to being a grain basket for the world. Although not all the food that they're producing comes to us, because it goes to other regions, you have less competition. Everybody should care about the war that is happening in Ukraine and Russia, because the implication that it has is far-reaching, and to recover from it would take time.